Hey guys, I just wanted to first off say thank every one of you for watching because this is our 100th episode. Man, I, I can't believe we're here. Uh, whoo, the amount of work it's taken to do all this has been unreal. But I wanted to get right into thanking all you subscribers. You guys are amazing. You rock. You literally are the best people in the world that have come on board and have been so encouraging. We love your comments. We love talking back and forth with you guys through there. It's been amazing. And I still hope to someday meet each and every one of you, if at all possible. Um, I want to also thank a very big special thanks here to Rock Solid Rig. Uh, Josh, Providence, Cody, Corey, Ken, all of you guys have been so welcoming to us and have treated us like family since day one. And we can never honestly repay you guys for that amount of kindness. And you really do mean the world to us. And thank y'all so much. Um, whew, <laughs> it's a little overwhelming here sometimes, but uh, 100 episodes. Man, um, I thought I would never see it to happen. And it's because of each and every one of you out there and all of your encouragement. And we are going to keep on going. And we are going to get to 200 300. I, there's no telling where this will ever go someday because as it says, we still have a long, long way to go. And by golly, we're going to get to most of those places sometimes, somehow, some way. And uh, we hope to see every one of you out there somewhere. So thank you for watching. Let's get right on into the episode. Uh, this is a very special episode for us. <clears throat> the fact that it came out to be 100 is just truly even more special. But uh, this was a road trip that we did here uh, very recently, and uh, we had a blast. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. 100 episodes. Let's get right on into it. Stop battling. Bye, guys. Guys, this is crazy. I mean, if you're from Texas, you know exactly what I'm fixing to talk about here. But look at this. Short sleeves. It's 70-something degrees outside. It's ridiculous. As you know, we live down by Houston, right? So we're, we're headed out on the Rock Solid Rig road trip. We're headed to Tennessee. Josh, Prov, Cody, all them, they live about three hours north of here, and it is snowing at their house. 70 degrees, snowing three hours from here. It's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, like I said, we, we, uh, we got the Jeep all loaded up here. Uh, see if we can get spun around here. We got the Jeep all loaded up on the car hauler. Oh, oh and that's, a, I'm sorry, I got to get back in the camera here. That's another thing. Brand new car hauler never been out of the driveway and we're fixing to take off on a 900 mile road trip to tennessee but hey that's the way we like to do things right boom throw it on there hit the highway we'll figure it out as we go i mean that's kind of the rock solid rig way too but uh crazy 70 degrees snowing we're all supposed to meet up in uh texarkana tonight i mean we're gonna head straight up to texarkana they're gonna cut across the texarkana it's supposed to snow there tonight and then we're headed to Carryville, tennessee tomorrow where they're supposed to have between three and six inches of snow. This is great. We're leaving at 70 degrees and sunny, and we're supposed to have three to six inches of snow tomorrow. God. But like I say, if you're from Texas, you're all too familiar with this anyways. But anyways, we're gonna get the rig all hooked up here. We're not taking the motor home this time. We couldn't get the loan approved to fill up the fuel tank on it. Uh, no, just kidding, but gas prices are crazy. But uh, no, we're just gonna tow the trailers and the rigs up there with the trucks and uh, we're gonna head to Winrock. So, rock solid rig, road trip, Windrock. We're gonna make it up to Kentucky to meet up with my great, great friends, Robert and Shell. Get everything all hooked up here. We're gonna hit the road. We're gonna head to Texarkana, meet up with the rock solid rig group, and then we are on our way to Winrock, Carryville, Tennessee, Kentucky. We don't know where all we're gonna end up, but uh, spring break 2022, rock solid rig. Let's hit it. And a very 
early, lovely, good morning it is. Uh, we're here applying for our second loan uh, to get fuel. <laughs> no, not really. But uh, this guy might be, whoo, man, we're all sucking it down. But uh, we arrived in Texarkana. It was kind of late last night, no filming. I mean, it, it was it was late and dark, and but it was snowing, as we suspected. But today, perfectly clear, not a cloud in the sky, cold, 28 degrees, and uh, we're all hunting gas prices right now. So there's Josh, J Josh over there, Mulner, of course, us, the Skywalker. Cody's got Sinjin over here. Um, we're fixing to leave out of Texarkana and get back on the freeway and, and head for Tennessee. But, um, oh, the big question is, everybody's been asking. So the Grand, the Grand Cherokee SRT towing the trailer with the Jeep on it. And the Grand Cherokee has done fan-freaking-tastic. The ride is absolutely incredible. It drives straight down the road. There's no pulling it from side to side. The Jeep doesn't, or the, the, I'm sorry, the Wrangler is not steering the Grand Cherokee. It rides phenomenal. Uh, fuel mileage wise, uh, we're getting about 10.4. So I only expected 10. Hey, uh, the, uh, the Infinity that Denise had, the QX80 pulling the travel trailer, which was only 5,300 pounds, nine is the best it ever got on a good day. I'm tickled to death with the SRT Grand Cherokee pulling the cheap. Now, if fuel prices were cheaper, it'd be a lot better at 10 miles to the gallon, but nevertheless, it's pulling it great. So the elephant is over. We were worried to death kind of uh, about the I mean, weight. We got the trailer kind of loaded absolutely perfect and everything like that on the cheap. It doesn't bottom out. It doesn't bang or boom or going over the roughest freeway bumps. It was doing just great. We're gonna finish uh, getting our loan applications through here so we can finish fueling up and we're gonna get on the road and we're gonna get to Tennessee today. Good morning, everybody. We finally made it into Tennessee. Late last night again. Uh, it's a very long drive from Texarkana all the way up here, but uh, we wanted to do it all in one shot and get up here and be done with that stuff. So, but as you can see, plenty of white stuff. But um, it's not gonna snow anymore. Uh, we never did actually run into the snow. It had kind of beat us here already. So by the time we got in last night, it's nice and pretty and we don't have to deal with it. But uh, we're gonna finally get the rigs all unloaded here. Uh, I mean, by the time we got here, we literally backed the trailers down in here, um, except for Cody. Uh, he's got the big gooseneck, but uh, there was no way we were getting that thing down this driveway. So let me show you what we were facing right here. So the driveway is right here behind me. And while it doesn't look like it on video, it makes a real hard down, sharp turn down to here on this, uh, well, let me find it, on this, on this little pad right here. And it was a job and a half getting just me and Josh turned around down here last night with our 47,000 point jackknife the trailers and keep getting it turned around. But we finally got it turned around. But, um, God, it's beautiful here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is 
actually the lake down here below us. Uh, so there's all kinds of boat houses and docks and stuff like that. You know, you could bring your jet skis or boat or whatever up here too. But uh, if you find yourself coming up here to like Wind Rock or something like that, and uh, I would highly, highly recommend this house that we stayed in right here. It, it's a rental and uh, it is drop dead gorgeous. The people that own it are super nice. Everything we need is in there. Um, if you're interested in it, just get in contact with us and we'll let you know who it was through. Otherwise, we're not going to put it out there for that. But, uh, man, it was a long day. Anyway, we're going to get all the Jeeps unloaded, get everything packed back up again, and we're going to head out to Wind Rock and see what kind of mess we can get ourselves into there. I forgot also really quick here, I'll just throw this in here as a side note, right? Again, the Grand Cherokee SRT pulling the trailer with my Jeep loaded on it. How did it do after we got here finally the overall trip? Fan freaking tastic. That little thing surprised the crap out of me, honestly. We ended up the final number when we got here was 11.2 miles to the gallon, which I mean I know it seems bad in one way, but in one way, I can't believe it got 11 almost 11 and a half miles a gallon. Pulling all that up through the mountains, down, up, 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 down, whatever. Um, and as a comparison, Josh driving the Dodge back there with the Hemi in it uh, was getting, I think, around nine, maybe. And then Cody's truck, which is parked up there, another Dodge, but it is a Cummins diesel. Now, granted, he is pulling a longer a gooseneck with his Jeep on it, but <clears throat> he ended up, I think he said he was getting around 11, a little over 11. So, I, God, I'm just tickled to death with that thing, the way, and, the, and, the, and how it drove. It drove so freaking good. It rode great. But anyway, that's the update. We ended up a little over 11 miles to the gallon over the whole entire uh, 800 and whatever miles it was up here. There you go. Southern Coal Corporation. I'm filming you. Filming me. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We come out to Bryceville, um, just outside of Carryville, Tennessee. And this is where we're going to enter into the Wind Rock uh, trail system here. Uh, it was just closer for us to come in uh, through Bryceville than it was to go all the way around to the other side. But uh, this is pretty cool, the Southern Coal Corporation. Pretty awesome. So a lot of this land out here actually used to be, uh, I believe, I'm, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but it used to be a lot of coal mining and stuff out here. Especially once you get on up into Kentucky, uh, there's a big park up there that you go out there now. They got a bunch of railroad cars and trains and historical stuff, and it's an old abandoned coal mine, which is really cool. But uh, anyway, we're getting all um, all aired down, sway bars disconnected. If Josh would just hurry up and get him some anti rocks, he wouldn't have to do all that disconnecting stuff. But uh, we're fixing to go hit the trails, wind rock, see what we can find. So we arrived up here. We've made our way up the mountain here in Windrock and we have arrived at the trailhead for trail number 51. So let's see what happens. Nice and wet. My favorite mud. Mm. In case I haven't reminded everybody, I hate mud. Hey, we should, I can ride the trail on that bulldozer. Like we have some recovery uh, gear right there for us, so just roll over there that. I was thinking about doing the trail on that skitter right there. And there could be ice. So the problem with mud holes, right, mm -hmm. is it could be inches or it could be feet. <laughs> and it's covered in ice. Mud. 
But I will have to say though, God, the ride is so much better. Yes, it is. Not as violent. I don't need a helmet. Yet. Yet. Tell me it was gonna be muddy. Uh, spo spoiler alert, by the way, there's gonna be a lot of mud. That would look like So there was a lot of walkers yesterday. I went in between the street right here. <laughs> you want some footage of this tree stump right here? <laughs> it's pretty dang close. How much further can we go over? <laughs> you, you're, you're not gonna hit your top, so if you wanna keep going, driver, is about to come down, so you're gonna start leveling out. <laughs> Back here. Okay, that's a little freaky ish. He's okay. Um, it wasn't really all that slick necessarily. Watched every bit of it. And all I got is the beginning and the end. Because uh -huh. it was on photo, I guess, still. Robert, you're, you're I know, fired. I was like, I was right there. From your video. And I'm like, what the crap? Fired. I looked back That's to watch it. Word. And I thought, well, maybe I have too much. But no, it's got the beginning. When I clicked it. Because you only got photo, you didn't. Yeah, I got the beginning photo the and the end photo. At least I'm not charging fifty nine ninety five a minute or something. <laughs> no charge for that. No charge. <laughs> I did so good. I did so good. <laughs> my, my, my videographer, my videographer, my videographer is a rookie. I made rookie. sure that it was in focus. I made sure I moved where the whole Jeep was in every bit of it. And he was on photo. Instead of he trying to look at it and. <laughs> I mean, and I didn't get nothing. All I got is the start and the finish. Right. Before and after. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. <laughs> That's all See, right. Like yeah, Josh said, I would that. crack up though if you sent me the video and it's of looking <laughs> it's at you in the camera. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yikes. He's going to drive off the cliff. We, we, not. we want to have somebody have this on film so we know what happened. Cow. Uh, that's far enough for me. Just come down, go a little bit, driver. A little bit more. Right there. Coming down, you're touching the first rock. It's fixing to start back up. That's, what I'm That's the bottom. Yeah. Come on, keep on coming. Easy, easy, easy. Come on.
but yeah, I mean, you're just gonna you're just gonna keep going up it now. Yeah. And then you can we'll get you a little bit further back. though, because you're nowhere to get out. I don't need to get out. So oh okay. Oh okay. Because I mean, like uh, that first step. That's a doozy. Is a doozy. Well, we have come to the end of Trail 51. Uh, Josh is back here. He's finishing saving the uh, map file for us. And uh, it was an awesome trail. Actually, it was a lot of fun. The only thing that made it kind of bad today was just the fact that we've had so much snow and uh, it has warmed up significantly and the water runoff is crazy, which made it kind of cool in one way because everywhere we went around a corner or a curve or whatever, there was another waterfall from all the, from all the melt off. But, uh, Anyway, that's it for 51. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head kind of back towards the parking lot, staging pavilion area, and then make our way around to the other side of the park and go hit some more trails. So we'll see you guys later and uh, we'll catch you on the next trail. For watching stay tuned for more upcoming adventures of our rock solid rig tennessee road trip new videos every thursday six o'clock p.m central hey if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button we would love to have you on board if you're already subscribed thanks so much for your continued support and we do really appreciate it and we hope to see each and every one of you out there somewhere someday as we still have a long long way to go